All right, it's Honda Parts Hero. I'm gonna be showing you how to de-pin and to pin an OBD2A, OBD2B ECU connector. It's slightly different than the OBD2 one. If you wanna see that, click on the link below um, in the description of the OBD1 de-pinning. This one's, uh, it's not more difficult really, but it's got an extra step. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. The tool you're going to need really for this whole thing is a small flathead jeweler's screwdriver. Um, you can also use a needle or something smaller. They also make specialized tools for this. But for simplicity's sake, I'm going to show you how to use it just using a flathead jeweler's screwdriver. And the screwdriver looks similar to this. There's different sizes, different thicknesses. But uh, this is the one we're going to be using today. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is... On your OBD2 A and B ECU connectors, you're gonna have this little white clip right here. And what you wanna do is not remove it, but you're gonna to want to, I guess you would say disconnect it um, so you can be able to remove the pins. And if you look real closely, there's slots. Um, there's one here, one here, there's one on this side, and then there's gonna be one on this side as well. Just, you're gonna get your screwdriver stick it down in there and then pry upwards and what that's going to do is it, this is going to pull up a little bit and release the pin so you can be able to remove them all right as you can see i've removed i'm sorry i've uh, released this white piece on the connector you just need to pry up on one of these if you usually the one of the middle two that'll do it but uh once you have these pulled up, you can now begin to remove the ECU pins. Okay, next thing you wanna do is get your pocket screwdriver, same one you used before. To me personally, the thinner the better. Actually, and some people use a needle as well, like a sewing needle, but I use a thinner one. And uh, what you wanna do is, as you can see, on one of these, or I'm sorry, all of these ECU pin locations, there's a larger side and the smaller side. So up top is the larger and then it kind of narrows down to the smaller. What, what you're gonna do is inside this, here on the top about midway, right where the large section meets the small section, there's a little clip in there. And what you wanna do is you're gonna stick this kind of at an angle downwards and then push up. And what that's doing is there's a little clip in there it pushes up on the clip and it, you're gonna to wanna to pull out the wire on the back side of the ECU connector. And that's, just, that's pretty much it. Once you do that, you pull it out. And then if you wanna put a new ECU pin in that location, you just push it in and it automatically snaps back. Um, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that. Okay guys, the next step, like I said before, is you're gonna get your pocket screwdriver. You're gonna stick it in at an angle downward somewhat like this and then grab your wire from the other side and what you're going to do is stick it downward and then push up so what you're doing is you're sticking out there's a clip in there you go down and then on your back side right here it's just going to pull right out it's really as simple as that it, it takes a few times to get used to but once you do it a few times you'll get used to it and like i said to pin it um, it's going to go in and it can only go in one way. So see these two little prongs right here? They go up towards the tall or the larger wider section. So if you're going to pin a location, you just stick it in and you hear that snap, it just snaps right in. And then when you're done with your pinning, make sure you stick these in and push these back in. And that's really all there is to it. Okay, just to give you a little close up and an inside view of what it looks like inside of your connector, this is similar on OBD1, uh, maybe even OBD0, 2A, and 2B. But right here is what it looks like. I, I went ahead and took a Dremel and cut away part of the ECU connector. And you can see what's happening is, see there's this clip right here, right here, this part where my screwdriver is stopping at. That is what holds in the ECU pin. So when you're sticking in your screwdriver downward and pulling, sorry, sticking in at an angle downward and pushing upward, 
what you're doing essentially is pushing that little connector right there. What you're doing is pushing that connector up and off of the ECU pin, allowing you to pull it out the back side. So that's just a little bit of a view inside of what it looks like. So what you do is, you know, you're sticking it in you know, on your larger, wider side. You're pushing downward. See how that pushes downward up and down? It's kind of hard to see, but what that's doing is releasing the ECU pin, allowing you to pull it out the backside. But I thought I'd give you that view. I've not really seen too many people show that, but you can see it here in this next section too. It's just the same way. You're, you're going downward angle, pulling down, and it's releasing the ECU pin. And this is part of the ECU pin that's in there. Um, let's see if I can get a good view of it. So see this um, slot right here? That's what the little connector inside of it is inside. Like that's going down in it. So when you're pushing down and up, you're releasing that clip off of here so you can pull it out. So I hope that shows further and shows you how to do it in a better way.